there again, guys, to everyone at BMM. This is Killeen here with the youngest addition to the bass faculty, a good friend of mine and an awesome bass player, David Marvuglio. I want to talk a little bit about the bass department and basically going over how Dave has been interacting with students in the whole nine years. So, Dave, tell us a little bit of how you got involved with the bass department. I got brought into the bass department to write a course on metal bass play. You know, Steve Bailey was applying or I would call auditioning for being the bass chair and him and I were having lunch and just kind of he asked me what I thought the department needed and I said there was nothing here for heavy music and then some time passed he got the gig and then he asked me to write a course and it's just gonna of course you know, it's just, but since then I kind of what else do I I teach a metal bass lab a punk and hardcore bass lab uh, pick bass lab and an indie rock bass lab. So just bringing all these kind of rock styles in. So with the concentration in heavy music uh, mostly, how have you found that the bass department as a whole has evolved in your tenure here, especially with Steve? I feel like it's evolved a lot. There's more, well I feel with metal in general there's been a lot of progression within it so a lot of more styles are being introduced and then we're getting all these Metal players are, that are redefining their skills by learning jazz and Latin and all this other mm -hmm. stuff. So it's just kind of creating a wider array. But I still like the students that still kind of keep what I feel is like the essential element of metal. That kind of mm -hmm. cutthroat driving bass lines is my favorite thing ever. Mm -hmm. I can do down picking all day. <laughs> I'm totally fine with it. It makes me so happy. And there's more of them starting to come around too, which is nice to see. That's awesome. So, in conclusion, what are some of the cool plans that you have in store and the base department has in store for this year? Um, for this year, right now, we're kind of, we're starting to all like revamp our labs. That's actually one thing we've been doing. So, just making sure everything is kind of redefining them all mm -hmm. in a way. Because there's been a lot of teachers that, or a lot of base labs that were written by teachers that are no longer here, things like that. So, we're all starting to kind of mold and recreate things. I keep doing a lot of things, because I'm with the ensemble department as well, so I've brought in a lot of visiting artists doing that. Uh, the next thing that I have set up for that, it's just a brief thing, I've been teach do you know the band Botch at all? Mm -hmm. Do you know Brian Cook, bass yeah, player? Yeah, yeah. He plays for Russian Circles, but he played with Botch, and oh, then cool. he plays with Sumac too. So me and a bunch of the students, we're going to the Russian Circles show, and we're going to get like a little like meet and greet hang with him. Too. That's awesome. But I brought Brian here last year when they last toured through, and that was a lot of fun. Because uh, for me, that's like that, those him and like Liam Wilson. They're kind of just like I guess I to put it comparatively to like some of my colleagues here. They're like the Jocko for me. Yeah, where it's like the guys that like I've heard and just like totally fell in love with what mm -hmm. they do. So it's been great getting to work alongside those guys in the education realm. That's awesome.